Now I'm a big fan of eBay and uh, a little while ago I went on a bit of a spending spree on LED digital voltmeters and here are some of the ones I bought. Now typically uh, you power them from between about 3 or 4 volts and about 30 volts and um, the ones with two wires will measure that voltage. The ones with three wires, uh, like these two down here, can often measure a different voltage. I think these two measure up to about, uh, yeah, that one's 33 volts. And this one, oh, this one measures up to 100 volts, 99.9. Um, but what I discovered is that uh, I had no ammeters. So I've been on another spending spree and uh, I bought five ammeters in total. Here are the four that have come in so far. So what I've done is I've wired them all in series and uh, from my ZXY power supply I'm putting one amp through. In fact the unit itself is reading 0.997 or 0.998 and uh, I'll just go through them. Incidentally, all the batteries at the back there are being used to independently power the four ammeters because, because they're all in series, they're all going to be at different uh, voltage levels. So I've put an independent power supply on each one. Now this first ammeter has four decimal places, so it's actually quite a precision ammeter. This was a bit more expensive, it was about five pounds, I think. And uh, the... Uh, but converter is saying 0 0.997, 0 0.998, and this is reading 0.997. So uh, it does appear on the face of it to be reasonably accurate. Uh, this one doesn't seem to be very accurate. This is a combined voltage and ammeter. This was very cheap, about £2.70, I think this one was. Um, and it's over reading, but I've noticed that there is a pot on the back of this, so I could adjust that. Uh, this one has big digits and uh, it's reading about an amp. It's reading a little bit high because it's flicking up to 1.01. .01. And this open frame one is flicking between 0.99 and 1 amp. So they're all reasonably accurate. Uh, the volt amp meter is a little bit over reading. And the precise one, uh, I'm quite happy with the precision of that. So let's now take the uh, power supply up to 2 amps, 1.8, 1.92, and then it'll tell you the actual current that's flowing, so 1.999 it's saying, and uh, on the precision ammeter, now that's uh, not as good now, that's reading 1.992 approximately, 2.02 uh, .02 amps on that one, that's reading high, 1.99 and 1.99. Not too bad. Now this precision ammeter only goes up to 3 amps, so let's try 3 amps. And we got 3.001, 2.986, so it's reading a bit low again, or possibly this one's reading high of course. Uh, 3.02, these other ammeters, I bought them all in the 10 amp version, I thought that was probably uh, the most sensible current rating. So we've got 3.02, 2.98 and 2.99. And just a, a final check at 100 milliamps and the power supply is actually reading uh, 96 milliamps. So on the precision ammeter we've got, uh, it's flicking around a bit but um, between 97, 98, 99 milliamps. This one's reading 0 0.10, so 100 or 110 milliamps. We've got 100 milliamps there. Curiously, this one has no leading zero, which is a bit strange. And we've got uh, 100 milliamps on that one. So I'll just quickly go through the uh, sellers and the prices for these ammeters. The open frame one is from Easebon and was just two pounds and five p. The one with the big digits is Quality Zone Online, and that was two pound twenty seven. Now the precision ammeter from Kuko um, was a bit more. That was four pounds eighty eight. And let's just scroll up. 
I bought another one um, which has both volts and amps, which curiously they show upside down for whatever reason. That was from F0 in E store uh, 279. And the last one, which is the combined volt and amp meter, Friend Shops 852. And that was, well, that was six pence, but uh, also 267 postage and packing. Now, the other thing I thought would be useful to go with these ammeters were a couple of these uh, nine volt battery boxes. And also I got um, 20 of these uh, nine volt clips for 88p, I think it was, for 20. Quite a deal. So I think that's probably enough for... Uh, LED voltmeters and uh, LED ammeters to keep me going for the time being at least. Now just a quick look at the uh, back of these ammeters. This is the precision one and it has this little coiled uh, wire shunt. There's no pot on this one so it can't be adjusted, it's pre-adjusted at the factory. Um, this is the dual ammeter voltmeter and um, these have connectors which in one sense are good because uh, it makes it uh, much easier to uh, mount and wire this thing uh, but on the other hand of course connectors will introduce um, extra resistance and possibly resistance that varies as things move so it's a bit of a double-edged sword um, two pots on this one presumably one for amps and one for volts this is the big digit um, ammeter Again, you can see the wire shunt here, and there's a single pot there. I assume that's for uh, adjusting amps. And then the little open frame one, again, you can see the wire shunt, but there's no pot on this one, um, so that's preset. That can't be adjusted. Now, although the one with the pre-wired wires um, isn't going to give you connector resistance, the problem is with these is that uh, you only have to move them a few times and the wires start to break away. Now that problem was sort of semi-solved on some of these LED voltmeters where they've actually trapped the wires between the PCB and the display, which is quite a clever idea because it kind of um, works as a strain relief. So um, that would be also quite a good idea for an ammeter, although I'm not quite sure where they put the shunt for that. But uh, that's it. That's uh, my eBay ammeters.